Hi everyone, it's Fabric Friday and it's been two weeks, but in those two weeks, we received our production of 115 inch wide petite cotton. So let's get to it. First though, I hope everybody had a wonderful, long Labor Day weekend holiday. I know for Bruce and I, we were able to spend time with um, our family in Minneapolis. We did so many different things. We went to baseball games, we went to uh, the Minnesota State Fair and saw some amazing uh, exhibits as well as, you know, all the animals and the food that you have to eat. Um, but <laughs> it really was so much fun to have just kind of a breather and to come back all revived and wouldn't you know it we were anticipating our shipment of wide cotton and it arrived and it is really exciting to see the actual production of the fabric and last fabric friday i guess it would be two weeks ago now I shared with you the um, samples of each one of the fabrics and it wasn't the whole collection. There are a few we're gonna go through again today that were not part of that introduction. And um, I am so thrilled with the range of colors and how everything turned out. It really, it really is fun to open up the cases, even though it's a lot of work. But the joy is to actually see how everything turns out the way that you planned it. So. But before I get to sharing those particular fabrics, it has been two weeks and I do have to share our giveaway winner from the last Fabric Friday. And I'm gonna grab the little gift. Our gift is going to be, this is what we shared during that episode. And these are fat eighths of the entire fall splendor collection of fabric. So there's 15, yes, I think it's 15 different fabrics and they're all fat eighths. And the winner of this giveaway is Noelle Sumstein. I hope I'm saying this correctly, S-U-M-S-T-I-N-E. And I have to honestly say, Noelle, you, ask the best questions and um, you're always sharing your thoughts and insights and I really appreciate it so very much. So this will be sent to you shortly. So I'll send you a, um, a quick email so you get all of the information and I make sure everything's correct with your address. Um, but if you're seeing this, which I think you will, <laughs> congratulations. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to share with you too, I'm just gonna set this aside, is that, set that right there, is I talked a little bit about um, changing up our house and changing up a tablecloth and changing things up when you're looking at things you can do in your home with wide cotton that isn't necessarily the obvious, which the obvious is a quilt backing. Because of its 115 inch wide fabric, um, it makes it so easy to simply buy a one piece fabric, quilt it up on the back of your quilt, and it is just a spectacular way to share with yourself or your guest bedroom, or even if you're, you're making a quilt for a gift, is when somebody turns back that quilt, it just really completes the whole image that you planned for that quilt. And so the 115 inch wide is just perfect for that. But I was really giving some thought to what I wanted to do with my tablecloth this time for fall. And so what I selected to go with, we have kind of, we have a very large oval table, like I mentioned, and it has cushioned chairs that are kind of a bluish green or, a, you know, it's kind of a green, um, I don't know how to describe it really, but the fabric I chose is our um, wide Gardenese Divine. And this is the colorway of um, Waning Autumn. So this one, I'm really excited to, 
to put as our tablecloth. And then actually I'll do a little video on how I measure and how simple it is to just finish off whether or not you have a serger or if you just use your traditional sewing machine, how you finish off the edge and then if you have any extra fabric, how you make some napkins to match. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll, I'll put up a video here, oh, maybe this next week to get that done. And I'm just really looking forward to changing my table in my dining room. So, um, and look down below in our description and you're going to see a connection or a link to our website where you can see our pattern for how to measure your table and um, whether it be a traditional all one fabric tablecloth or using our double border batik um, a pattern for that as well which gives you the dimensions for how to measure and create that border all the way around the outer edge of your tablecloth whether it be round oval or rectangle or square it's a great little cheat sheet to have so definitely look below and um, get that link over to our website for that pattern. But without further ado, let's talk about each one of the fabrics that we received. And um, I think you're really going to enjoy them. I'm going to show you each one of the fabrics up here um, on our wall. And I had to do some rearranging of our Jersey Knit um, grouping just to have a place for all of these bolts and so each one of the fabrics are they're folded once and then again so they're double folded and it really makes it a great way to um, to stand up all of our backings but here is the first one I want to share with you is the um, animal skin charcoal and this is actually not a new one I wanted to show you this next to the new hand dyed charcoal, um, just because I think they're just such a great pair. So I could see a duvet cover with both of these together, you know, reversible, uh, simple, simple reversible quilt top or comforter. And for me, I know what I'm going to do is this is going to be my next quilted jacket. And I haven't decided if the lining is going to be one of our cream pearl fabrics over here or if I'm gonna go bold and do something with the azalea. So we'll see, but this is gonna be my new quilted jacket for this fall. So here's the next fabric, and this is the charcoal, and it's hand dyed. It has a little hint of brown to it, to be honest with you, but I really do absolutely love how this turned out. Here's Azalea, and this is a fabric that we did not share during our um, Fabric Friday last time. This is just a beautiful shade of red, and it has some highs and lows, um, but I think this is gonna be spectacular. We've had a lot of you asking for something red, and so hopefully um, we'll send swatches. If you need swatches to match your red projects or your quilt tops or whatever you happen to make, but I really, it just really turned out beautiful. Vine Atlantic Deep. This is one I spoke about, which is, we currently have um, Violetta Atlantic Deep, which is a very deep, deep, dark, dark teal. And we tried very hard to get this vine to look like what we originally did way, way, way back when with the Vine Atlantic Deep. And so there are more shades of brown or gold that run through this, and that's exactly what we wanted it to be. The next fabric is Medora Flora, and this is the Dark Emerald. Absolutely. You know, we expected it to be this way, and this one is, I just really love the green in this particular fabric. So you can also see the difference between the shades of the teal and the green. And then over here, this is a fabric that I did not show last time, and it's a new motif as well. The motif is called 
Valhalla. And you see all the little tiny, these are really, really tiny motifs in here. I think it's even tinier than, let's see. No, it's not quite as tiny as the um, Garden East of Vine. But if you can see the size difference between the Medora Flora motif and Valhalla, it has little flowers and little vines with leaves. This shade is called Ivy. Okay. Moving right along. We're going to slide this over. Hopefully I won't get you seasick here. There we go. The next grouping is really kind of a blue family. And I'm gonna try to tip these over just a little bit. Majestic Blue is not a new colorway for you, but the motif is, this is the flock together. And there are tiny birds within this motif with lots of vines and leaves and flowers. This does replace our lace leaf and the phoenix, both in the colorway of majestic blue. Here's an old favorite. This is called jewel blue. And so as you can see, it has shades of green and blue and purple, kind of a grapey purple in it. I love this all over hand dyed fabric colorway of jewel blue and Copen blue. Oh my, this is just gorgeous. And again, it does have pretty dramatic highs and lows of kind of a, um, not teal, but more of a turquoise and an indigo blue running through it. The next fabric is our Medora Flora, and this is Royal Blue. So this is really, it's a little, you know, I should really probably have the nautical blue up here. And actually I will put a picture up that shows the differences between this fabric and the nautical blue. I love this one. It goes very, very well with kind of an Americana feel of a red, white, and blue. It's a great shade of blue. Here is one of our newest motifs, and this is the flock together, again with the birds and um, leaves and vines. And this colorway is cerulean. A very, very light blue. And Cream Pearl, we've had Cream Pearl in our color selections for quite some time. And this again is one of our newest motifs called Valhalla. I really love this. It's just such a beautiful texture and goes so well with some of the Copen blues and even with the Majestic blue as well. Now we're going to slide over to the last six. I'm going to tip these a little to make it easier to grab them. Now, Delft Meadow is not new. We have been out of stock from it for quite a while. And so I wanted to bring this back in here just to reintroduce it to you. And it's bolder in color than the... Um, Clifton Gardens, which is another one that is your, your favorite, but this has the blues and greens running through it. And it's just such a rich, beautiful, beautiful um, cotton fabric. And this is the Phoenix motif. We're glad to have this one back. The next one is Phoenix as well, but you can barely see the motif in this one. And I love this light shade here. And this is Ocean Turquoise. 
And I will tell you that anything that's currently not on our website, which is going to be anything that is the Valhalla motif, which is this one right here, and this is Purple Magic. And this shows more of the grape and purple than the Phoenix did previously. Now, Phoenix, we also got back in stock. And so we have this colorway, Purple Magic, in more than one motif. So you can see here as well the beautiful floral design of Valhalla. And again, this is Purple Magic. And the background to this one is a blue. It's a deep, deep blue, much like the next one, which is Deep Wisteria in the motif of Valhalla. But the differences between these is that there's much more periwinkle in the Deep Wisteria. It does have hints of what I would call kind of a berry shade. There's a fly absolutely bothering me here. Um, so disregard the fly. But the periwinkle and the berry shade. And again, this is Valhalla. Blue background. And it almost looks like it reads lighter simply because of the motif shade there being so much lighter, but the background is the same blue, deep, deep blue shade. The next one is Dark Berry. And we had a dark berry in our collection before that only read, it's kind of that, it was missing some of the really, really deep, dark shades that flow through this. And there's kind of a corally, corally orange that goes through this colorway as well. And this is Phoenix Dark Berry. I love this. And the last one out of our new collection is Medora Flora. And this is the shade of Dark Ruby. Actually, it's not Dark Ruby. I think it's Deep Ruby. <laughs> so you'll see these on our website. And I will be adding all of the Valhalla motifs to our website shortly. But hopefully it's there before this particular video is out there. So those are our newest additions to our extra wide collection of cotton. So what do you think? I hope you enjoy each one of those new extra wide batik cotton fabrics. And um, two things. One, I had mentioned over here to make that I was going to make a new quilted jacket out of the uh, animal skin charcoal. And I am going to do that. And one of, I have a couple of patterns here that um, I'm trying to consider which one I'm going to use this time. But in the past, I have made the tamarack jacket um, quilted up the fabric, you cut out your size pattern pieces for the front, your sleeves. Um, you can even, um, from the, I think they have a second option Tamarack jacket where you can get all of the variations for a hood, a different collar, uh, different pockets. And so definitely go in search of this pattern. Uh, we have it on our website, I'll have the link below. And it's available in two different size ranges from zero to 18. And then I think the second one is from 16 to 30 or 32. And these are simple. The only thing that takes a little bit of, of uh, practice is adding the binding all the way around the edges of your, your um, sleeve opening, your hem, your front. And then you have the option of adding buttons or not adding buttons. So you can wear it as a closed jacket or not your choice. And then we also have another option for a jacket, a quilted jacket that would be absolutely gorgeous is the Fit for Art Tabula Raza jacket. And this would be amazing. And on their website, they also have um, a, an instruction guide. And I, I apologize. I don't know 
if it's free download or if it costs or what the actual price would be, but it is um, how to do a quilted jacket. And I just think it would be a fabulous way to use the cotton to make your own quilted jacket. So that's another option for a quilted jacket. But um, I'm absolutely going to start that project because believe it or not, today might be our last day of really, really hot weather here in North Dakota. And then it's going to start really becoming fall. I think tomorrow it's supposed to, you're going to laugh at me, tomorrow's supposed to be in the 70s and then it's supposed to kind of get cooler and cooler and our mornings are going to start getting cool. So it will be fun. Um, so think about all the different ways that you can use incorporate the 115 inch wide fabric into your projects, whether they be quilt backings, um, whether they be home accessories, uh, like your tablecloths or your duvet covers, um, or even a simple two-sided quilted comforter, whatever it happens to be, or clothing. Um, definitely take a look at our website for the latest collection and chat with us on our website, ask for swatches. We're more than happy to send you a swatch of anything and keep sewing, smiling, and sharing.